Dark cloud cover, bearish stars, and dojis form a defined top. As usual, a few large red candles accelerate the downtrend. That still does slow down during periods of indecision that often occur at defined levels that were significant in the past. A less strict bullish engulfing is a key event near an area of prior support. Strong selling continues with a few large red candles, but they are quickly opposed by bullish reversal candles that form in this rising area of support. The upper 2700s are also influential as they oppose any upswings. Here there are great examples of dojis in a bearish context. It is also interesting to see the general price action of an evening star into December. It's not very symmetrical or proportional, however it does show a good case where there is a transition from bullish sentiment, some indecision near established resistance, followed by a strong bearish reversal. There is bullish sentiment in the short term due to these bull hammers, however the sentiment is not exceedingly high, especially as the following candles trade but do not close above the bull hammers high. The consistency of red candles persists and this leads to a neutralization of the short-lived bullish context for a strong close lower. A downward continuation is more likely at this point. There is indeed a downward continuation following the break of the key lower 2600 boundary and this is another great demonstration where even though there is strong bullish context in the very short term with a bull hammer, it does not guarantee an upswing. Especially when taking into account the broader context of events. A uh, three black crows has formed and as per usual this can lead to a quick downward overextension as any rapid movement to the downside or upside cannot be sustained indefinitely. This candle is closer to a bull hammer with a longer lower wick to show the market is decreasing in bearish sentiment and there is minor bullish interest in the short term. Though the current candle does not resemble a bull hammer and is essentially a spinning top, it has its lower wick rejected at the key 2400 level. After all, 2400 isn't just a nice round number. It has also been a significant level in the past. The market continues slightly lower with one final bearish thrust. However, that drives even deeper into more established support near the 2300 range. This leads to a sizable bullish reversal. The uptrend is relatively unopposed due to the short-term downward overextension in the final downward continuation.